we're gaining the reward. With the old nice, are gonna be going to tanky, the lots of power, some really good signatures for closing out stocks. So game number one, Mammoth Fortress, and immediately starting off with Viper and Solar Sin, just pouring out tons of damage. Bartu caught in the fray. Oh yeah, Viper getting hit by the Great Sword recovery coming out from Bartu and Casp on the other side goes in for that side thing. Ooh, some friendly fire. Bartu taking the most damage so far. Sideline oh into Viper's blasters and Viper perfectly happy, putting on even more damage to his opponent as he goes for that neutral stick and gets Sideline snared for it. Casp, good punish. But Bartu's out of there already. And uh, oh, nice job with the delayed team combo. Not true, but definitely wild enough that uh, Solarson was able to catch Casp off guard. Oh, yeah. Now, Bartu over onto the Great Sword. You see him going for. Oh, my gosh, that was crazy. Viper getting the Axe neutral signature to toss. So they got a very extended alley oop for a little bit of damage. Managed to take out Solarson. But here's the thing Bartu, I'm noticing he's swapping over to the regular sword. Most chances that he can get. The grounded great sword, it's really difficult to make it work in doubles. Mm -hmm. Just because you don't have any true combos off of your openers, right. it's always a dodge window before your second or third attack in the chain. So you end up having to use a lot more of your aerial kit in order to make your presence known. Yeah, the the uh, the ideal, which is definitely easier said than done, is to get your teammate to hit a dodgeless opponent into you while you're grounded, right? Yes, <laughs> then, yes. And, then, and then you don't have to worry about what you just talked about. But so far, Bartu has only been getting hit and not been getting any team combos started here as he is now down to one stock oh, as no. is Casp and Viper and Zolerson are, uh, well, it, it's, it's looking pretty dominant so far. We've seen a lot of game ones like this where game one comes through it's super rough for the underdog team, and then things change. There's a little yeah. bit of adaptation. Maybe that'll happen in the middle of this game, but so far, Viper and Solar Sin are really just making quick work uh, of their opponents. Cast finally Ooh, takes okay. down Viper's first stock. Oh, man, just missed that handoff. That would have been huge for their team, especially if they could have gotten that rolling power play where you have a 2v1, then you knock out the one, and you keep the 2v1s going. Oh, Solar Sin sent flying. Wow, Cass with the gravity cancel, all neutral right. light, going all the way out there to catch a potential dive kick from Solar Sin, and he succeeded. And now Viper and Casper battling with axes off the right side of the stage. Bar Man, two. They've yeah. been doing a phenomenal job bringing this one back. They've gotten Solar Sin down to final stock. They hadn't been taking too much damage. Unfortunately, Cass just getting blasted out of there by the axe. Viper, such a threat. Yeah, and now. Much to my surprise, Bartu is the last one on the, on the field. He was the one that was losing the stocks the fastest, but Casp goes down first. Team combo? No. I wonder if Solar Sith thought he had a lance. The <laughs> distance like, why, why is the, my range so The distance short? there was perfect for a lance neutral light. So I was like, and I was almost expecting that to hit, but he did uh no, he was unarmed. Bartu Ooh. gets the neutral stick on the Viper. Okay. Brings it down to one stock apiece for his opponents. He's actually navigating this one video quite well until that moment. Viper and Solarson had covered every single dodge oh option. My the recovery gosh. into the axe side air. Nice nice follow-up from Solarson. Getting into the right position to be able to hit him with that move after the recovery is uh, yeah, pretty I'm, good. And it was crucial too, right? Because Viper, he hit that blaster's recovery pretty low beneath the stage. Mm -hmm. So since it knocks up, there was a lot of up to go through. Yeah. I don't think it would have knocked out. Yeah, we're gonna see that right here. Recovery comes through. Perfect. Yep. Yeah, he would have drifted back down and had a, uh, another opportunity there towards the end for sure. We're going to be going into uh, game two. Yeah, looking at the damage dealt. Pretty good in favor of the red team. We've got uh, Bartu. Uh, wait. Okay, this is curious. Uh, oh, Cast is now the JU. What? I had to. I had to think about it for uh, a bit because I thought I was hmm. like. I was like, who's was so so? Casp on JU, Bartu on Val. So JU seems to be. A, a staple part <laughs> of their team composition, but it doesn't matter who's picking it. That's what I'm theorizing right now. I, it's not often that we see something like this. I get the sense that I, I feel like, yes, they, they have that Jae Yoon that they share. And it's just like, no, 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 we lost that match. Give me yeah. that. Let me see. Yeah, yeah. It could be we were we were talking about how with the double Roland yesterday in South America 2v2, how there are teams that do subscribe to the policy of we can't have two of the same legend because that makes DI that much more atrocious. Maybe that is the case for Bartu and Cass when it comes to how they prefer to play. And now oh. we've got the uh, the swap here. Val for Bartu, uh, Jayun for Casp, and 
a little bit of a better start. It looks like both stocks are going to go in favor of the red team here, like they did in the last game. Oh, wow. Really went for wow. it with that great sword recovery, but Viper was able to, able to navigate around and get the turnaround knockout with just a neutral air on the axe. They were that high up. Okay, that's what I thought. I didn't see it, but I heard the connection sound, and I was like, that sounded like an axe there. But then there was a knockout afterwards, so I didn't want to believe it. But that, <laughs> that, that, it is possible for axe or trailer to knock out if you are that high to the blast zone. Viper goes down. Bartu took a ton of damage, though, before the stocks got equalized, and Solar Sin is doing a pretty fantastic job getting even more damage onto his opponents on his Ooh. second stock. Man, it looks like they've been focusing Bartu quite a bit. Tons of damage, pushing him into the red. They don't want to deal with that 2v1 situation that they had at the last end. They're like, you know what, we'll try it against Cass. Oh, man. In short order and a momentary power play. Couple hits going on to Bartu. But now Cass oh. is back in the mix. Oh, my gosh. Oh. That was so early. That was so early. early. Yeah, I, when I saw Bartu go for the recovery, the sweat beads were activated. I was like, you're against blasters. <laughs> like, that, that's not going to go well for you. That's too. You know, Ralph Wiggum, haha, -ha, I'm in danger. Yeah, that is, uh, that, that's twice now that Viper has gotten reversals on opponents towards the top of the stage. One with an axe Nair, and the other with blasters recovery. The Nairs are coming through, and we're in a similar scenario as last time. And it, 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 sure, it wasn't Bartu in the 1v2, but it was Jay It was Jay Yun. It was Jay Yun, and it was uh, 705 damage for Viper going into this. So we're going to see. The Axe Nair knockout here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe that. That's so, that, that, yeah, that move has, like, barely any knockout. Yeah, yeah, that, that, you had to be pretty pretty close to the blast zone there. Because like, you, could, you could just keep jumping uh, in Brawlhalla, and you'll, you won't activate the blast right. zone towards the top of the stage. But the second that you are in hit stun, you're, you're, you're gone. You, you just explode. So, so that's exactly what happened there. Viper just caught him that high up. But we're on Mammoth Fortress now once again. And this time, Jayun has been taken completely out of the equation. I Casp see. is back onto the brin. You know, I was almost wondering if Jayun was going to swap onto, like, Solar Sin or Viper. Oh, that's <laughs> interesting. Like, it's just getting hot potatoed across the entirety of the squad. No, not this time around. Bartu uh, sticking to the Val. Brin back for Casp. And Viper and Solar Sin uh, are one game away from winning this 3 0. But I quarter. will say, and I don't want to speak too soon, I'm definitely speaking too soon, but the damage lead going the way for the blue team, yeah. this is a nice change up. This is kind of the opening that they've been looking for. Yeah, definitely. Just to be careful not to take Viper too close to the top blast zone. Otherwise, you'll lose your stock no matter how much. Don't take him too have. close to the top. Don't take him too close to the bottom. <laughs> you know, you yeah, just got to live in center, that nougat yeah, center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay in center stage. And maybe your stock will last until, you know, normal amounts of damage. Solarson makes it back with the Lance. Viper covering him just in case of the blasters. Both players playing on the right side of that platform. And now Bartu and Cass are still surviving. Man, Viper, how are you surviving? I, it's Barasa, man. I suppose. That is, that is He's got all that defense. And, and if he manages to take a stock before losing one here, that'd be huge. Okay. Oh. The weapon throw bounced him into the side sink. That was pretty neat. Very slick. <laughs> oh, couldn't quite get the handoff. Bartu just gets the turnaround. I think Solarson intentionally chunked his stock there. He was slowing down. I don't know if he didn't have any options left and identified it or if it was one of those situations where he didn't want to leave Viper alone for too long. Oh, man. R2, down airs. Okay, nicely done. Viper side light there. Neutral light, bar two Ooh. goes down, evens up the stocks, down here on the Casp. Casp is in danger. That is, that is, okay, he gets through the recovery. I really thought Solar Sim was going to try to assist, but that's like that moment with in, in yeah. team games where you're like, if I go down there, I might be causing my teammate more trouble than if I just give him the edge guard by himself. So he decides just to stay on the top stage, let Viper have it. Oh, no dodge for Casp. Okay, weapon throw goes the other way, though, and he makes it back. Ooh, Viper just anti-airing against that spear ground pound. He was going to have none of it. Blasters definitely reach far enough to give a problem. Oh, no, the quick handoff. Bartu taking tons of damage. And he's gone. 
Bar to the one going down to one stock. Cast falling oh. shortly afterwards. Viper and Solar. So they, they did end up starting this game at a deficit. They have brought it back. Bar two waiting for that weapon coming through. Solarson and Viper both guarding the spawn. Neutral light hits down air, hits once. Can he get the second one? Cast. No, he's going for the save. Okay. Trying to take the pressure off of Solarson. Good play from Viper. Oh no. Okay. That, that was that was not a nair that time. It was an axe side air. <laughs> Oh, Solarson working his way back to stage. No, Cast with the ground pound intercepts him just in time. Yeah, We've got caught. three stocks to two. Viper hanging by a thread. Solarson tried to interrupt it with a uh, uh, fadeaway in the air from the ledge, but it just got right through it, and he goes down as well. Viper now down to one stock. It could be a game four. Let's see how it plays out. Casp and Bartu have been doing a pretty good job with this team composition this time around. Nair interrupts the combo. Cast. See some big attacks swinging out. They want to get that damage, some knockback, a little bit of breathing room. Unfortunately, only breathing room for the red team. Just Ooh. sending them wide with every single attack. All right, Viper goes off the bottom of the stage. Cast trying to recover the other side. Dodge is back, but Bart took a ton of damage on the other side. They're both going for edge guards either way here. Casp has been trying to recover for so long. Exclamation points just activate, and Viper oh. Sarah in both directions. Blaster's Nair doing so much, but Bart has a chance. Oh, okay, he's fine. I saw that stuffed recovery effect, and I was like, how many options do you still yeah. have? Ooh, no, she misses. Oh, this is so close. The Viper goes down. Bartu and Casp have a chance. You know they're looking for it, but Ow. man, anything is going to take out Bartu or Casp. Blaster's there. Well, gone and oh. gone, and that's a 3-0 victory for Viper and Solar Sun. Yeah, that spear weapon throw there, not feeling so good. Ends up taking out his teammate, and then he goes down shortly afterwards. Viper and Solar Sun take it 3-0 over the team that knocked down Zipapi and Stikia. Ooh. But man, hopefully we get to see a little bit more later on today from uh, Bartu and Cass, mm -hmm. just because this is winner's bracket. Yep. They've still got another chance. You yep. need to lose two sets to get knocked out of the tournament. Yeah, that you do. Uh, and, and maybe they'll... Uh